In one of the biggest cross-border attacks since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Kyiv forces have continued a barrage of drone strikes into Russia's Krusk and Belgorod regions, with reports emerging that one person was killed and three people were injured on Thursday. Some of the recent attacks have been claimed by Ukraine-based Russian paramilitary groups who have crossed over into Russia but Moscow says it is fighting back. In a statement, the Russian Defence Ministry claimed to have shot down eight MLRS projectors over Belgorod region. At around 8.30am, the Russian armed forces have foiled attempts by the Kiev regime to carry out terrorist attacks on the territory of the Russian Federation using MLRS projectiles. On the other side, residents in Donetsk in Ukraine's east are reeling from the aftermath of a deadly Russian strike. Two people died and five were injured on Wednesday when Russian troops fired a rocket at a five-storey building. I haven't slept for four nights. I keep thinking, how long is it possible? They keep striking and striking. I thought I'd get some sleep today. It seemed normal and quiet. I lay down and fell asleep. Then I was thrown out of bed. Something fell on me. Glass. On Monday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described the situation in the east as much better than it has been. But Ukraine's army chief says circumstances are still difficult, with a shortage of manpower, ammunition and delays to Western aid. Kyiv's forces are on the defensive across some thousand kilometres of front lines in Ukraine's south and east. Their reinforcement will be critical to not losing further ground.